Welcome back. Today I'm starting a brand new project, taking a used RC car and turning it into a beast. The X-Max. I was originally waiting for Arma Outcast 8S to go on sale, but then I saw this one on Marketplace for less than a half price that it costs new, and I couldn't pass on the deal. I was a little bit worried about buying a used RC car, but it looked really decent. Plus, last car I bought turned from new looking into wreck looking in like two weeks. So why buy it brand new, right? First, I have to say this thing is massive. The shocks, the wheels, all are just bulky. This is a can of soda next to it, just to imagine the size. The car came with a few aftermarket parts, for example, these wheels and tire combo. These are really beefy belted tires and a huge upgrade from the stock ones. They will not balloon that much under load. The body has few scratches, but nothing serious. I must say it looks way worse in the video than real life. Let me show you what's under the hood. The car also came with this brand new body as well as with older original X-Max body. The old one has some wear and tear and I'll be using it for the first drive and testing. Under the body the car chassis looks almost new. I can see it had a dust cover installed before so that is why it's so clean too. The rear bumper will need some work as it's bent to the side a little. I totally love these battery clips. So much easier to just pop the batteries in and go. Although I will have to print different brackets as my batteries are way too tall to fit. One of the aftermarket upgrades is the Hobbywing Max 5 ESC. I'll just have to drop the car at local RC hobby shop to get rid of these Traxxas connectors and replace them with EC5. I will use adapters for now just to start the car up and bind it with the controller and make sure it powers on. As you can probably tell, this X-Max was originally 6S. It's a very early model, I had no idea. These models have the 1600 kV motor with no fans. Since it's upgraded to 8S, I would rather install stock dual fan and hopefully keep the temperature down, especially in Florida summer heat. Another aftermarket upgrades are these hot racing parts. Drive gear cover, steering support, and differential cover. The only thing that was wrong with the car is this shock. The rod is evidently bent, and I knew this when buying the car. It's an easy fix. I'm pretty sure I can even save the old rod, just bend it back to make it straight. Again, these shocks are massive, and probably the largest you see on any RC car. To be able to work on the shocks more comfortably on my table, I will build a RC shock stand. And again, there are many models available for download online. And my first idea was just scaling the existing model. But as always, I decided to design my own. It's not going to be completely from scratch, as I will take inspiration from most of these available products. You can buy them cheap, although they probably wouldn't be large enough for X-Max shocks. Design is pretty straightforward, and I was done with it in a couple of hours. Since I already had some old magnets around, I thought it would be a great idea to add them in the bottom, so they hold any screws or metal parts securely in the bin. Taking the shocks apart is easy, there are just a few screws holding them together. Not sure if this is the original oil, as at first it looked clean in all of the shocks. It doesn't look like much damage, but any deviation on the rod will make the shock stick and not work properly. I think I could have bent the rod back and save it, but I decided I didn't want to. I already got these in a local hobby store for like $18, so 
So since I'm taking shocks apart, I will just put the new rod in. And here it is. You can see how curved it is compared to the brand new one. All right, time to clean all the parts, put the shocks back together and fill them with new oil. This was actually my first time to work on shock like these, and I must say it's very easy. It's important not to tighten these way too much as the ends are made of plastic. I reused all the parts from the old shocks. There are rebuild kits that you can buy, but I didn't think I needed them. I had some focusing issues and I'm not sure if the oil is clear. It looks like some blue particles in it and it might actually be the blue color from the inside of the shocks. Also very important to get all the air bubbles from the shock. For some reason it was harder to get them out of the shock that had the bent rod. I might have to replace seals or even the plastic parts in the future. The shock is okay and doesn't leak though. they are back together. I think the shocks feel a bit stiffer than with the previous oil. All right, that's it for part one of this RC car revival. I've got those rebuilt shocks installed and they're working perfectly. In part two, I'll be designing and printing versions of these brackets and I'll be installing a brand new motor fan to keep it cool. And before you go, hit that subscribe button and smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.